The renaming of the Mercedes-Benz SUV lineup is now complete with the arrival of the 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLS, which is a refreshed version of the existing GL class. Sitting above the GLA, GLC, and GLE models, the new nomenclature is meant to connect Mercedes-Benz's largest SUV with the flagship S-Class sedan. Most of the visual tweaks to the 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLS are minor, and consist of a freshened face with reshaped headlights and a more prominent front grille. The taillights are revised too, and there's a bit more chrome trim sprinkled throughout. On the inside, the seven-seat GLS gets the latest command infotainment system along with a new steering wheel and some different colors and trim finishes. Other changes under the skin include different tuning for the optional air suspension and an improved suite of available active safety features. When the 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLS goes on sale next March, it will offer a nearly identical engine lineup to the outgoing GL class. The GLS 350D uses a 3.0-liter turbo diesel V6, the GLS 450 has a 3.0-liter twin-turbo gasoline V6, and the GLS 550 has a 4.7-liter twin-turbo V8. All models now use a 9-speed automatic, and the GLS 350D and GLS 550 both gain a bit of horsepower, with the diesel version now making 255 horsepower and the V8 version making 449 horsepower, the V6 GLS 450 continues on with 362 horsepower. The top dog Mercedes-AMG GLS 63 also sticks around, with its 5.5-liter twin-turbo V8 that now makes 577 horsepower, but still uses a 7-speed automatic. Don't expect pricing to change too much from the current Mercedes-Benz GL, which starts at $65,475 for the diesel and ranges up to $122,025 for the powerful GL63. The 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLS will make its official debut in a few weeks at the 2015 Los Angeles Auto Show.